Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. In just four days until the college football season kicks off for Boise State fans, the Broncos take on Florida State in Jacksonville this Saturday while the Broncos continue to prepare for one of the most highly regarded programs in college football history. The Seminoles are also making sure to prepare for Boise State. ACC opponents like FSU understand the Broncos will be difficult to beat. The Broncos head to Florida with 21 consecutive winning seasons under their belt. One heck of a uh, football program, and, and Coach Harson has done a great job. He's a Boise guy, and, and understand that program inside out, and has done a great job uh, um, uh, with his program. And I think we all understand Boise and and, and um, what they're capable of doing. They're a well-coached football team. Saturday's game kicks off at 5 o'clock on ESPN. It will be the first time the Broncos have ever played in the state of Florida. The Broncos have won 13 of the 21 season opening games they played outside of Boise. It is that time of year again, and it's the perfect weather for taking to the morning sky. The Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic kicks off tomorrow and will fill the air with colorful hot air balloons. If you want to get a first hand look, the balloons will lift off from Ann Morrison Park every morning through Sunday. Tomorrow, though, is Kids Day, sponsored by Capital Educators. Some special balloons from Europe will be making an appearance, including Darth Vader and Master Yoda. About 25 balloons will take children up into the air for a tethered ride. Get in early. Liftoffs typically happen no later than 7.30. And don't forget about the night glow. That happens Friday night. Organizers ask you to leave your dogs at home. Pets don't appreciate all those loud noises. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. The heat is on today. Temperatures warming back up into the upper 80s to near 90. 88 in Boise, 82 degrees in McCall. Beautiful in the central mountains. That clear sky, patches of smoke in some places where there's been some fires, even a prescribed burn west of uh, Highway 55, up not, not far from uh, New Meadows, actually, uh, during the day today. And in, in the portions of Oregon, we've got fires there and uh, some smoke. But there's no fire, no real high fire danger over Idaho. It's always high this time of year. But the red flag warning, so if you can find out a southwest Wyoming, and this is where fire danger is uh, definitely on the higher sky side, and it's a red flag warning for central and eastern portions of uh, Washington or western and central portions of Oregon. This is thunderstorm activity that could increase and lightning strikes could start some new fires there. But you can see how clear the sky is. The jet stream is way to the north because of this high pressure and the heat behind it. This is tracking in our direction so it gets scorching heat for the day tomorrow. And I think it could hang around for a while, likely right through the long weekend. So if you've got plans, look at my extended forecast. Thursday is the only day that we get some moisture coming up from the south. Actually Wednesday night overnight mostly. We'll have some cloud cover that'll make for a warmer look how much different it is on uh, Thursday morning 67 degrees instead of 59. This will be a warm morning because of cloud cover. So Thursday will be a hot day from start to finish. It will just feel real warm and then the sun comes right back out right through the long weekend. Look at that sunshine temperatures in the 90s with the hottest day on Saturday. Enjoy your vacation before summer is over. I'll have another update coming for you right here later this evening.